diabetes is one of the most reoccurrent, reoccurrent illnesses in the Bronx. In 2015, 9.4% of the population had diabetes. Approximately 1.25 million American children and adults have type 1 diabetes. Joining us now with more details is Dr. Rita Luard, Director at Clinical Diabetes Center at Moses Campus on the Montefiore Health System. Thank How you. are you today? I am doing well. All right, well tell me a little bit about diabetes and the prevention methods. So one of the reasons we're concerned about diabetes is it is so prevalent. We are one of the boroughs with the highest prevalence of diabetes. We have high risk of risk factors for diabetes as well as hospitalizations. So one way to help with this is to try to prevent it. And we have efforts, programs that have been developed to help people prevent diabetes. And, and what are some of those health methods? So we really focus on healthy lifestyle. One of the things that we want people to do is to exercise and eat healthier. And as part of this, we have a month where we're trying to raise the awareness of diabetes and the ways to prevent it. And that month is November. Now, now I've heard of some people um, not knowing they have diabetes and they have gone years without knowing diabetes. What are some of the signs to know that you might have type 1 or type 2? So most people who have type 1, it's a very clear diagnosis, they're very symptomatic. But people with type 2, it can come on gradually, and so they can start with feeling a little bit more thirsty, feeling going to the bathroom a little bit more, feeling very tired, perhaps gaining weight and eating more. So many of these things can be signs and symptoms, and one of the important things is to get checked. So every adult over the age of 45 should get checked. And because we're seeing such high rates of diabetes in our communities, we're actually asking people with high risk to get checked earlier. Absolutely. Now, what if you, know, you don't have any of these signs, however, it runs in your family? Because I've heard so many times, especially in the Bronx, it uh -huh. runs in my family, but you know, I don't really have any signs. So we're recommending that people, even without signs and symptoms, if they have risk factors, and that can be being overweight, having a family history of diabetes, having a child um, that weighs over nine pounds, having a history of diabetes during pregnancy, all of these are risk factors that you should be aware of and should probably prompt you to go to your doctor earlier to get the test for diabetes. Absolutely. And, and what, is that, what does that test look like exactly? Is it just a normal it's blood test? It's just a or? blood test. But one of the things we also do is we want people to know about diabetes, know that we have very effective treatments for not only preventing, but also treating diabetes. And so November, American Diabetes Month, is one of the months that we really focus on getting this information out into the community. And I've heard, you know, some people who have went with diabetes untreated and they develop diabetic ketoacidosis. Now, I don't understand exactly what that is. Could you kind of share some? It's one of the acute emergencies that we see with diabetes. So this is an emergency where the blood sugars get very high. And because there's not enough insulin in the body, you can develop acid buildup that can be life-threatening. So some of the signs and symptoms that we talked about earlier, going to the bathroom a lot, feeling real thirsty, and perhaps even losing weight because the um, body is kind of metabolizing itself. Those are signs and symptoms of the diabetic ketoacidosis. But also, remember, we see this usually with people with type 1 diabetes, and it's not as common as you would expect. However, the more common type of diabetes, the type 2, that's the one we really want to focus with the prevention efforts. And so, November 2nd, aha, <laughs> uh -huh, is one of our kickoff events for American Diabetes Month. American Diabetes Month in November is the time that we really get out, talk to people, answer these questions that they may have, and our kickoff event is going to be at the Montefiore campus, Moses campus, um, at the Grand Hall from 3.30 to 6. We're going to have all kinds of vendors there that will talk to people about diabetes. And our theme this year, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. drum roll, <laughs> is diabetes in our world. And so mm. diabetes affects diverse populations throughout the world. And we really want people to know that you can eat food that is 
common to you and your culture, but still do it in a healthy way. Mm. So we're going to have vendors who are going to talk about that. We're going to have people talking about healthy eating in the community. And, come on, we have a group called Mind Builders, oh. which is a local group that's really focused on creative arts for children. And they have dance and music. They are going to do a performance oh, with a little so Zumba, <laughs> a little salsa, a little African dance, wow. and then lead a mini class for the people who attend. That sounds so fun. I, know. I love that. I, I love know. That. Now, how can we contact you or get involved? So you can go to Montefiore.org, Diabetes Month. We have a whole calendar of events that are going out throughout the borough through the month of November. We're offering classes at Mind Builders, so if you wanted to join and see, sample a little yoga, sample oh, a little I love yoga. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can do that, and that whole schedule is going to be on our website. Mm -hmm. But remember, Friday, November 2nd, 3.30, we'd like to have the community come out and join us. Friday, November 2nd at 3.30. 3.30. All right. Let's have that like instilled in, in their brains right, right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like an amazing event. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us about the event or anything that you know people might not know about diabetes at all? So we're going to have people who are also involved in the diabetes prevention program. So they'll be talking about how you can prevent diabetes. We're going to have people who are going to do weighings and talk about healthy eating. So it's going to be a multicultural, wonderful, fun-filled event. And I would love to have people come out and join us. I am so excited. I'm so excited. I'm sure that it's going to be very. It's like I heard that um, a lot of uh, people in the Bronx suffer from diabetes. And, you know, this is great information for them, and they definitely need this. So. And it's a way to get that information out. So we do want people to come, and not only to that event, but to the other events that are being sponsored throughout the month. I have a question for you. Yeah. Now, what is the most common question that you see to, to receive? Um, so there are probably two. One is, what can I eat? And so for many people, when they get the diagnosis of diabetes, it's like, are all foods mm -hmm. off limits? Mm -hmm. And so one of the reasons I like people to come in to these events is to educate them that, you know, it's not food. It may be the portion. Mm -hmm. And last year, our event was focused on sugary beverages and how we really don't need as many of them in our lives. So we had a lot of events that were looking at that. So education about nutrition is probably the most common. Education about nutrition, I love that. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And again, just say it one more time, Friday, November 2nd at 3.30, <laughs> Grand Hall Montefiore Medical Center. Yes. Ah. <laughs> thank you so much for thank joining you. us, Doctor. I appreciate it. All right, so we'll, we have to take a quick break and we'll be back with more open.